At Chicago's Cristo Rey High School, students study math, science, and history. But one day a week, these inner city kids do more than homework. They do office work and learn lessons they could never get in a classroom. You're teaching them how to dress. Over. Right. Absolutely. Hygiene. Absolutely. How to answer phones. That's right. How to speak properly on the phone. This sounds Copying like... Copying machine. This sounds like common sense sort of things. Well, it's not common sense if you've never, if you didn't ever do it. With all the talk about the sad state of education in inner city schools these days, the gangs, the drugs, the high dropout rates, here's one thing you may not have heard. It's about a successful high school in Chicago where every graduating senior is accepted to college. The school is called Cristo Rey, and what puts it in a class by itself is that one day a week, every week, the kids skip class to go to work at white-collar corporations all over the city, places like Ernst & Young, Bank One, the Chicago Board of Trade. Of course, it's a world away from everything they know, but they're fast learners. At Cristo Rey, many of these students will be the first in their family to graduate high school. We're going to be read one book. And I'm With its small it. class sizes, these carefully selected students get the best education money can buy. Math, science, American literature, taught in both English and Spanish. Correcto o no correcto. Good morning. But back in 1996, when Father John Foley and his fellow Jesuits started Cristo Rey, they knew the students in this neighborhood couldn't afford the nearly $9,000 a year tuition. So the school approached Chicago businesses for help, but not for charity. So we went out, we went out and knocked on doors and said, would you give us a job? In other words, we, we, if you, would you hire our students? And I remember one day we went back to, we came back home and we said, we're getting too many yeses. This is gonna work, but we're gonna have to do this. So this didn't start off as a way to get these kids corporate skills. Oh my Lord, no. It started off literally and simply to pay the bills. Why do you wanna to come to Cristo Rey? What do you look for when you're interviewing the students? We look for people who are uh, capable of uh, answering a question and uh, with a certain amount of spunk. You have to be employable to be a student at this school. That's because Cristo Rey students spend four extended days a week in class and one day at work. Thank you. It is a simple fee-for-service contract. The school has its own employment agency down the hall from the principal's office. It sent more than 2,500 students off to work since the school started. Whether they're filing bankers' records, delivering lawyers' briefs, Four, five, two, five, seven. or crunching an accountant's numbers, their entry-level salary goes straight to the school to pay most of their tuition. Welcome to Cristo Rey. Good to see you. To get them ready for the corporate world, ninth graders go to freshman boot camp. Before you walk in, name tag, where is it? Do you have a tie? You're late. You're chewing gum. So this is a pretty bad first impression here. This could be called First Impressions 101. Keep your tie high. You look good. You look good. You're not going to hurt me. Shake my hand hard. Come on. They learn the firm handshake. I'm not down here. Don't forget. I'm up here. So good eye contact. Over, around, under, and through. Here we go. Over. And dressing for success. And you're teaching them how to dress. Right. Absolutely. Hygiene. Absolutely. How to answer phones. That's right. How to speak properly on the phone. This sounds Copying like... Copying machine. This sounds like common sense sort of things. Well, it's not common sense if you've never, if you didn't ever do it. Apparently it works. Student employment has paid the bills for eight years. But the first day they sent their kids off to work, Father Foley understandably was nervous. I wanted to hide under the desk. I didn't know whether they'd be back in 15 minutes saying, you know, are you nuts? What are we supposed to do with these kids? But what was my surprise when the person in charge of the program came into my office and said, you won't believe this. The sponsors are calling me and thanking me for the students that we're sending them. Was it intimidating to you? Very. <laughs> Senior Alex Macias remembers her first day on the job. Arriving at the looming corporate towers of downtown Chicago was the culture shock of her young life. Had you ever come downtown before you started working downtown? Actually, it's kind of funny because I never did. Did you think about working in one of these big office towers? <laughs> Honestly, before Chris Ray, not at all. Oh, we're actually coming here. Hi, 
Sunny. Uh, this is my supervisor, Sunny. Sunny Lentini says what some students lack in experience. How is she? Oh, she's the greatest. <laughs> she's a senior. They more than make up for in sheer will. Even the young ones, the freshmen, they have the get back on the horse attitude. Do you give them real jobs? Do you give them real work? Absolutely. I got married recently. I was okay. I could go away and be fine because I had someone here that would answer the phones and do all kinds of troubleshooting when I was away. What do you get out of this? Um, I think it's the experience. I mean, it's been the experience of a lifetime. What does your resume look like already? <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to graduate high school saying that I've worked at four different corporate offices. For most of these kids, the idea that they could succeed at anything is a revelation. In these offices, they learn just how far they can go. We're looked at as equals. You know, it, it, it surpasses that we're Hispanic. It surpasses that we're 16, 17, 14, and says, you know, here, go into the corporate world. You're destined to work in these big buildings, and who knows, maybe be the CEO of them one day. To help them reach such lofty goals, Cristo Rey students are given a rule book on day one, and it's their Bible. I've got your rule book right here. <laughs> Absolutely no shaved or bald heads. Length should not be lower than a number two clipper attachment. <laughs> there are a lot of rules. Freshman year, the most I got in trouble was for a haircut. America Ochoa had shaved his head much closer than this, the way the local gangs do. He got a detention for every week it took his hair to grow back. Are the rules too strict? Some are. Which ones, America? Um, I guess the haircut one. <laughs> <laughs> Even at dances, although the dress code is loosened up, security is tighter than ever. Just blow into the car, okay? They're pretty strict on you at the dances, too. Yeah, right? they are. Oh, it is. A lot of the teachers, they chaperone the dances, and if you're dancing a little too close... The spirit. Let's, yeah, Mr. Conley's favorite <laughs> line, he'll tap you on the shoulder and he'll say, oh, let's leave some room for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stop. For two years, English teacher and dean of students Raphael Torch has served as the enforcer. Proper attire for women. Blouse must be modest and professional with buttons, sleeves, and a collar. I'm not sure I'm dressed appropriately to come to Crystal. Your Ray. blouse would be out of dress code. You'd be out of dress code. You'd probably be in detention, right? <laughs> Some of the kids say this is this is like a boot camp. That it's tough. Do you think you're too tough on them? No, I think we could be tougher. We've had gang problems here. And the shootings happen, and people die. And, and, and this is happening in their neighborhoods. It happened to Sergio Garcia, who would have been Cristo Rey class of 2004. He was bright, popular, his family's big hope. He was shot and killed on his block last year. It's not known if he was in a gang, but Rafael Torch says, despite several warnings, Sergio kept breaking the number one rule, no fraternizing with gang members. I'm angry with him sometimes. And Do you feel like you failed him? Yeah, I mean, I went through like these, you know, few weeks where I was, what could I have done? Maybe I should have been violent with the kid, like physically taking him in my in my hands and shaking him. You're gonna die, kid. That's simple as that. You're gonna die. He knew it. I knew it. You know, and then he went out and did it. After Sergio's murder, Rafael Torch cracked down expelling five other boys for associating with gangs. That's hard not to do when gang members are friends, neighbors, even family. Torch says it's a clear choice. You are in a gang or you are not, and if you are gonna come to school and you're gonna act like one, if you're gonna recruit, if you're going to instill fear in others, we don't want you here. Go to the public school. Good luck. Aren't you just sending them openly into the arms of the gangs? Sure, quite possibly, but at the same time, um, we're here to educate. We are not here to rehabilitate gangbangers. So the first award for math homework goes to Tony De Los Santos. Here, they focus on the kind of kids who think math awards are something to cheer about. In the medical school. Have your goals changed? Are they different now because of coming to Cristo Rey, America? You know, I, re I thought I was gonna get through high school. And then after that, I'm going to work construction, because my dad works construction. But now, it's college. Like, I want to go to college. Unfortunately, in an area with 10,000 high school-age Hispanic teens, Cristo Rey has room for only 500 students. When we came here, we thought, great solution. 
to all these young people. We're going to open a school, and we're going to embrace them all. Well, we found out you can't do that. We found out that just doesn't work. What time is it? Almost graduating time. I think that the, the 500 kids who are in our school are showing the way to the other 9,500 that, that there is a way out. That it's up to you. You want this? Come and get it. And Cristo Rey is showing the way to other communities. A $22 million gift from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and venture capitalist B.J. Casson is funding schools modeled after Cristo Rey in 10 other needy communities. Just this fall, schools opened in six cities, including New York, Boston, and Tucson. Alexandra Macias. Ten years ago, the Chicago community had a dropout rate that soared as high as 75 percent. For the Cristo Rey class of 2004, the dropout rate is 1 percent. And every one of the students marching today has been accepted to college. Baby, I love you. Thank you. Congratulations. Alex Macias was accepted to several colleges. Her choice was made easier by a phone call from Ohio Xavier University. You have been selected to receive one of our $15,000. Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you. Alex graduated in the top 10 of her class. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. And the girl who had never been downtown before, who had missed only one day of work in four years, I gotta call, my mom. Call, your mom. Call your mom. reaped her reward. So I, I just talked to the dean of admissions from Xavier, and they're going to give me the 15000 plus another presidential scholarship or something like that. <laughs> oh, don't cry. You make me cry. All the rules, the work, the discipline, came down to this. You know, paid off, you said it paid off. We did it, Ma. 